Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown for the week of April 17th, 2021. I am Caleb Black. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams, our in-studio producer, the Mighty Max Fury. And it is time to conclude our GOAT tournament. Max, who are our finalists? Our finalists are the greatest wrestler of all time, Randy Orton. <laughs> okay. Randy Actually, Orton. wait, wait. Don't tell us all of them. Let's... Let's let. Well, I think we already know. So yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, so I'll just go down. Just go down the list of who we have. You're not doing them in order, though, right? No. No. Okay. No, no, no. We have Randy Orton. Okay. We have Kurt Angle. We have Drew McIntyre. We have CM Punk. We have uh, Rey Mysterio. Triple H. Nice. Roman Reigns. Good little run there. I thought Big E was part of this. I thought I said him. Big E. No. Okay. Yeah, nice little run here. Wow. Well, this is our first crack at this tournament, too, so don't worry. There'll be more Decent. to come. So eight names. So, yeah. Luke, you're going to start us off. I am. Who did I get, Max? Well, I picked these in no real order. I just kind of threw some out. Sure. Luke, you have got Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio. Right on. Right on. All right. And your time begins. <laughs> How many a, minutes do we get? Got a minute on the clock. All right. Minute on the clock. And it starts. We're going to go with the 30 mark. All so right. four, three, two. One, go. Rey Mysterio, probably the greatest lucha uh, professional wrestler in professional wrestling today who is still active, uh, has held championships in numerous different promotions, has been the WWE champion, the World Heavyweight champion, the Intercontinental champion, numerous tag team championship reigns. He's won the Royal Rumble. He has done everything that there is to do with the exception of the money in the bank in WWE. Uh, his storyline alone uh, with uh, Dominic. Yes, no, he was not. He was cashed in on. Uh, his storyline with Eddie Guerrero uh, over the custody of Dominic is probably one of the most talked about things of that year. <laughs> um, his tag teams with Billy Kidman, his tag team with Eddie Guerrero. Uh, his match with Eddie Guerrero at Halloween Havoc in 98 still stands out as one of the best Time. professional wrestling matches ever, ever happened. Time! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> great would it have been if Seth Rollins would have been like, he's not even your son! He they could've. thought about hey, doing hey, hey, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All right, big dog. Good All right, Caleb. spell there. Max Maine, who I got? You got. Who I got? C.M. Punk. Damn. Fucker. Damn. All right. Uh, we'll go on the three. And three, two, one. CM Punk revolutionized the game on independent wrestling. Bar none was the reason IWA Mid-South found its place and, and spawned what we formerly know as independent wrestling today. Same thing with Ring of Honor. Multiple time WWE champion, intercontinental champion, tag team champion. You do not get better than CM Punk. And was the first person signed personally by Paul Heyman to the WWECW brand. When the entire office wanted to fire CM Punk from Paul Heyman's own lips, that's why he didn't, because he saw something in him. Carrying that with absolutely zero approval from Vince McMahon, Triple H, or anybody, found his way all the way to the top of the ladder at WWE as WWE champion against John Cena. You don't get better than a guy whose own bosses don't like him but know where they stand with him. You don't get better than the anti-hero that is CM Drunk. I mean, CM Punk. I'm Didn't not even, even use all your time, man. Time. <laughs> um, no, I still got to go with Ray. Uh, so do I. And I know you're not upset about that. Fuck CM Punk. I knew I you weren't upset about that. All right, Rob Paper says pussy. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You got me. You got me. Go first second. Oh, you go first. Who do I got? You go first. You have. Randy Orton. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. Uh, we'll go. Uh, you th know how this 45. is going to go. It's just going to oh, yeah. Randy. Oh, yeah. You don't know that. He'll be biased. He'll be biased. You don't know that. Randy Orton barely squeaked through this tournament. You are as super biased. All right. I'll go to 45. <laughs> you know what you're talking about. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and go. Randy Orton. 
Uh, what is there to say about Randy Orton that hasn't been said in the previous videos, but I'm going to attempt to try it anyway. <laughs> Just say nothing Randy Orton, stop talking. the three <laughs> most devastating letters in WWE with the RKO. No, I'm, I'm actually going to go serious with this. Randy Orton was a young prospect when he was hired. He was one of the, uh, the what did they call him, the class from OVW? The master class. Master class. Uh, he's been, he was the youngest heavyweight champion at the time, world heavyweight champion. He's won the Royal Rumble twice. Mm -hmm. He has uh, been in two of the three biggest groups in professional wrestling with Evolution and with Legacy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's uh, championships out of this world. They've got a little tag. You name it, he's held it. Uh, Randy Orton is still on the active roster, still putting out main level professional wrestling matches. He is one of the guys that you built the company on and can still build for the next, I don't know, 20 years. Yeah. Time. Time. Well done. Thank you. All right. Try not to throw all my shit out. Actually, it's gonna, probably going to be pretty close. Katie, you got Big E Langston. Big E Langston. All right. Good one. We'll go with six. Yeah. And go. Big E is currently the president of professional wrestling. Former Intercontinental Champion. Former 111-time WWE Tag Team Champion. Yeah. Elevated African-American talents at a period of time in which African-American talents weren't actively being... At Elevated. Not a world champion yet, yet. but we all know he's going to be. Not a WWE Hall of Famer yet, but we all know he's going to be. His contributions to the community outside of professional wrestling, as far as his media uh, alignment, his his work as an ambassador, his, his work on uh, goddamn video games, for crying out loud. Big E is a guy who can learn to do everything and do everything well. Yeah. Not to mention the motherfucker owns his own gym where he goes in and outlifts Every single competitive lifter that attends it. He's a beast. He's a monster. And he has not even poured the coffee into the cup that is going to be what we remember of Big E in 25 years. I totally agree. That's the end of that. Yep, That's time. all I got. Time. Also, uh, you, uh, you, uh, I'm just throwing it out there. The If the New Day isn't inducted into the Hall of Fame, then I don't give a shit about the Hall of Fame. They will be. They're one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Yeah. Championships. They will. You name it. You, you know they will. Oh, yeah. It's really, really close. All right. Break his heart. Come on. <laughs> you know it's coming. Based on those arguments alone. alone. Uh -huh. yeah, those. Uh -huh. Those arguments. Uh, you got to go with Rankin. Uh -huh. Of course you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you do. It's going to get harder with the guys that are still in this Rainbow. tournament, though. I guarantee you. Uh, all right. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Let's do it. Hold on. I'm getting... Okay. Well, stop it. I right. accidentally hit the emergency call. I almost called the cops. Ready? Go, two, three, go. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Scissors! All right. Scissors! You go first. All right. Lay it on me, brother! All right, Caleb. You've got... The oh, Olympic you've got Joey Ryan. Gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Oh, this will be good one. All right. All right, we'll go with uh, 10 after. Sure. And then three... Two. What? Kurt Angle main evented at WrestleMania over Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. Kurt Angle's held every single major championship and every single major company he's ever been a part of. Kurt Angle was going to be the flagship wrestler for WWE CW. Vince McMahon put his personal sign on Kurt Angle leading the entire brand. And Kurt Angle chose to allow other stars to get elevated to the top because he knew his place on SmackDown was secured. He won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck, performed in two consecutive WrestleManias with a broken neck and a, tw and a blown shoulder, didn't complain, didn't miss a beat, and performed at the highest level of athleticism. Learned how to be a professional wrestler in eight fucking weeks. You don't get that. You don't get anybody who is that good, that naturally capable, or or just genuinely that charismatic, and all of those elements align perfectly, with the exception of one person, that person being the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. That time. Fuck Jeff Jarrett. Right. Several things. Actually, I think Kurt Angle's I think it was Kurt Angle's fault, but I'm still blaming Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, Luke, are you ready? Yep. You've got Hunter Hurst. Ooh, I got Hunter Hurst. Nice. I'll go with 30. Yeah. <sighs> go. Triple H. The game. The Cerebral Assassin. These aren't just nicknames. The these, these are legitimate. <laughs> the, uh, the man is by far one of the best professional wrestlers in professional wrestling. 
It's history. Uh, could still go today if needed. Has been proven. Um, his track record against people like Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Kurt Angle himself, The Rock, uh, Stone Cold. There hasn't been a person in professional wrestling that is on the Mount Rushmore of more people's Mount Rushmore's that Triple H hasn't not only wrestled, beat, and made money with. Good point. Triple H, King of the Ring. He's won the Royal Rumble. He's held every significant championship in every promotion that he has actually been Triple H. Yeah. Uh, he uh, has taken the uh, underground uh, professional wrestling uh, and with NXT and made Time. it a shit. Damn, that was fast. No. Fast, man. Uh, try not to fight these too much. Uh, go back. Uh, I'm going to go with Kurt Angle. I would choose. Nice. Yeah. That was a hard one. Yeah, it really Between was. those two, that's really a hard one. I have to do two parts of this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we usually do. Always. Okay. Last round, Daddy O. All right. Ooh, got me here. I'll give you first. All right, I'll go first. Who I got? Who's left? It's Roman and somebody else. I forget. The head of the children's table. Oh. Roman Reigns. I got you, dog. I got you, player. What's I actually got him here. <laughs> go. The big dog, Roman Reigns, the head of the table, current WWE World's Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, you, universal champion. Whatever. So hand selected by The Undertaker to be the next guy. Undertaker plucked him out of the crowd and said, you're the guy who's going to hold this brand together, and by God, he's just a doing it. Beat leukemia not once, but twice. Was the head of the shield, came out of being in the shield to be the biggest star of the three of them, and those are all three world caliber athletes. Numerous time world champion, numerous time tag team champion, numerous time United States champion. The guy, there's nothing he can't do. Athletically, verbally, physically. Yeah. He looks like a grown-ass man, for crying out loud. Not to mention his Samoan lineage. He is carrying the torch, gentlemen. He is the head of the table. The biggest star in the WWE, Roman Reigns. Time. Head of the children's table. It's only one head of the table, and it's the people's table. <laughs> That's right. Just That's right. That's right. <laughs> anyway, who do I got? Who's my oh, father? Who you, got? you have got... Drew, Drew McIntyre. Nice, Roman and Drew. Hmm. Just I that I didn't mean that, to that worked out perfect. Out. Drew McIntyre is the reigning <laughs> or was the reigning WWE champion through the biggest pandemic in professional wrestling history. He carried the torch when not a lot of people could say that they could do the same thing. 100%. Uh, his match with his opponent in this bracket probably the best match of last year at uh, Survivor Series. Agreed. For sure. Uh, Drew McIntyre is somebody who has come from the bottom and is now at the top of his game. He is at the top of professional wrestling. Works way up twice. He's done things in not just Impact. He was the top. Yeah. Uh, WWE. He did things in uh, WCCW in uh, in England. ICW. He's oh. been champion in ICW in England. He's been champion everywhere he's been. The man has single-handedly built himself from the bottom up. Yep. Uh, Drew McIntyre does not have bad matches. It just doesn't happen. His finish is on par with the RKO, is on par with the super kick. The pedigree is being one of the most iconic finishing maneuvers of all time because it could be hit from anywhere. True. Um, Drew McIntyre's time. match with Bobby Lashley. Fuck! <laughs> Those are really, really close. One drawback was that you tried to play the sympathy card with the leukemia thing. <laughs> the sympathy. The second time was we'll focused on his wrestling. He beat it twice. It's about wrestling, though. It's a hard it's ass. Wrestling. Fuck <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Jesus. I, guy, has, guy beats I cancer. Beat all of a sudden, he's a fucking iceberg. <laughs> 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 Come on, now. No, that's no, a good matchup. Seriously, match um, I'm going with McIntyre on that one. Yep. All right, that's so the end of this round. Uh, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Follow us on Twitter at pro wrestling TD. Send us an email at pro wrestling throwdown at gmail.com. Like, subscribe, leave us a comment down below, and stay tuned for the part two of the GOAT tournament and the announcement of the next tournament we're going to do, which is going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned.